keep it local, keep it fresh. Right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Great food, great atmosphere, got it all here. A bar and grill that's bringing life back to Lexington's Jefferson Street Corridor. I think it's great. It's a great thing for Lexington. Definitely got a cool vibe to it. There you go. We're dining out and digging in. Wow. You can get anything fresh, a healthy food, pizza, great drinks. And this time, we're also getting the secrets to how it's all made. We'll reveal some secrets. <laughs> From salad on the grill to seared scallops with Sambuca sauce. Fantastic. And what's becoming known as the best pizza in town. The pizza's great. It's secret to Bluegrass Chefs at Lexington's Great Goose, and it starts right now. with you again for more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, this time in Lexington on Jefferson Street. We're about three blocks from Rupp Arena. This is one of the coolest new corridors in town, where bars and restaurants are popping up like bluegrass in the springtime. I think it's great. It's a great thing for Lexington, and it's uh, definitely got a cool vibe to it. And at the heart of it all is this old brick building that used to be Ballard's Market. The locals used to buy their bread and their milk here and uh, now we're serving delicious food and cold beers out of here. I think they're really giving the neighborhood um, some flair. Now, it's the Grey Goose, home to casual dining, craft beer, and a perfect patio. Love the patio, it's always nice out here. The bar has a little history to it too. It does, um, we've got a couple of prints on our walls uh, of old taverns in Philadelphia that are now non-existent. And our bar came out of one of those two. We're not sure which, they had sister bars, but it was made by the Brunswick Corporation in Cincinnati in the late 1800s and moved to Philly, and now it's found its way back to the bluegrass. The bar and the cocktails that come out of it are top notch, as is the food. Yeah, the food's delicious. Fresh seafood. Chef, I'm going in, I gotta give Go this a it. try. A wide variety of salads. You have all kinds of salads here. And of course, the staple of the Grey Goose. Our New York style thin crust pizza is what drives the bus. The pizza's the best part, I think. The pizza is yeah. awesome. There are a few secrets behind the pizza. For one, they're all made with fresh ingredients. All fresh mushrooms, everything is fresh, everything is done in-house. And two, a chef who insists that every pizza is prepared to perfection. My grandparents on my father's side are Italian. Darren Perosi was born to cook. It's been in his blood since day one. I remember waking up and smelling tomato sauce, smelling cooking, cooking pasta fresh, cooking tomato sauce all day. From there, I, I, I guess I just really love cooking. It's always been in my blood. My mother says it's from my grandfather, my great grandfather, who has always been a chef. Darren is keeping with family tradition, and his specialty these days is perfect New York style pizza. The pizza's great, the, the crust is really thin and nice and crisp. Definitely a New York style pie. This is better than New York. And there are plenty of pies to choose from classic pepperoni or something more gourmet like the pesto pizza. We got caramelized onions that we've done this morning. There's even one topped with a fried egg, which makes for perfect late night leftovers. And no matter which one you like, you can count on everything being fresh. In fact, the chef grows his own herbs right outside the kitchen. We're back in the garden area. We've got a lot of fresh herbs. We have uh, uh, fresh chocolate mint, fresh basil, fresh sage. I mean, it smells phenomenal. Curly parsley, some thyme, oregano. You really do this uh, from garden to grill. I'll tell you, you can just smell the fresh uh, mm -hmm. herbs as you walk in back here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, there's nothing better than fresh. So we're gonna take this right from here and head into the kitchen. Right. Your office, your exactly. other office. He's going to put some of those herbs to use right now in a Grey Goose signature salad. This one is a spiced apple salad. It is uh, a Melrose apple. It's actually grown here in Kentucky. Okay. It's from a, a farm in Paris. Poached Melrose apple, 
fresh from the farmer's market here in town. And take the core out. The apple is uh, poached with uh, red Zinfandel. It has a sprig of rosemary, fresh rosemary, and cinnamon sticks. All right, a little bit of honey just for sweetness. We've got uh, butter bean lettuce. This is grown actually uh, in Cynthiana, Kentucky. And you can tell how fresh that is. I mean, that is beautiful. Very green, very vibrant, lots of antioxidants in here. Get the apple. Get the Melrose in place. Melrose in place. These are heirloom cherry tomatoes from a farm in Cynthiana as well. Fantastic. They've got that that fantastic, beautiful, beautiful look to them. So we'll just group those in the side. Pick some fresh herbs from the garden. A little bit of sage, a little bit of uh, thyme, some balsamic vinegar, bacon fat from the morning uh, uh, bacon production. Beautiful. I'll tell you what. Nice flavor. Just a little bit of that. That's going to be great. Whisk all this air into it. Gives it body. By the way, that's a great secret is if you're gonna cook bacon and eggs, render the uh, bacon mm -hmm. fat and save it for your salad. Save it for your salads. A little bit of salt and pepper, just to bring out the flavor of the sage, bring out the flavor of the balsamic. Some goes on top and some around the side. We get a nice fresh salad, fresh from the market, from this week. Doing it right, right here at the Grey Goose. And we're just getting started. Next, it's salad on the grill. Get the secrets to that coming up. Plus, scallops with Sambuca. That is phenomenal. That is a winner. It's easy to make yourself when you learn the secrets. There it is. There it is. Later, we'll show you all the secrets behind the famous Grey Goose Pizza. From start it's real simple. to finish. Oh, yeah. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs at the Grey Goose in Lexington continues after this. Tim Laird with you again with more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. And this time, we're in the midst of an urban revival. What a beautiful place you have here, nice. Jeff. This is gorgeous. At the heart of Lexington's newly thriving Jefferson Street corridor, we found a bar with a chef who's breaking the mold of bar food. They have a really good menu. It's the Grey Goose, and it's the toast of the town, thanks to its dedication to craft beer and cocktails, along with fresh, local food. I know that it's fresh and I know it's local and it makes it taste even better. Besides the great food, the Grey Goose has one of the most awesome patios in town. I love the patio because it's nice and quiet. It's very cool out here. There's always a nice breeze. There's umbrellas. It's very comfortable and, and Lexingtonians love their patios and I think we have one of the best in the city. And part of the patio can be used year-round. We took this little alley that runs along the side of the building uh, about a year and a half, two years into our existence and we built a roof out of it, and we built a little wall structure that, that frames it. And then we filled in the gaps with old stable doors from Elmendorf Farm, uh, which we can throw open in the summer, or we can seal up in the winter, and we heat that room, and it gives, it gives me twice my interior dining that I used to have. It's a great place to have parties. It just feels comfortable. I guess I just really love cooking. Chef Darren Perosi comes to the bluegrass from the Northeast. And while he used to be a Yankee, nowadays he's in love with Kentucky. I had moved here originally um, and just fell in love with the city, fell in love with the people, the food around here. And now he's part of Lexington's new thriving food movement, adding unique twists to classic dishes like this. I've heard about this, your iceberg wedge mm -hmm. on the grill, On right? the grill. It's a quarter nice chunk of iceberg. We season it with a little bit of salt and pepper it, and place it right on your hot grill grates. White hot. Okay. To get that nice grill mark to it. It stays on the grill for maybe three minutes. Okay, so if I'm doing this really whole quickly. hot grill, three minutes, the whole wedge. The whole wedge. Our house-made Dijon vinaigrette. Very good. Drizzle on the plate. Garnish it with a little bit of parsley, some bacon, and a cherry tomato. That's our base. This All is we're our base. For the wedge. The wedge gets flipped, 
It's nice grill marks to it. It'll still have crispiness to it. It'll still have that coolness to it, Good but it'll be nice flavor. and hot on the outside. There it is. Wedge comes off, cut out the core, goes right on the plate, and it gets onion rings, red onion rings. Ready to go. Ready to go. That looks like a meal in itself. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of this. It's ginormous. It is. Beautiful. Nice job. That salad will go perfectly with this. Nice, big, fat scallops. Chef Darren's seared scallops on top of linguine and Sambuca-infused tomato sauce. You can do that at home when you learn the secret. Diver scallops, they're from my uh, my seafood guy here in town, uh, Lexington Seafood Company over on High Street. These look awesome. Look at the size of these scallops. We're going to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper, copious amounts. And then right on they're the going to go on the hot side of the grill. Uh, the grill where it's real white, that's the heat, the hottest point. You'll get a really nice sear from these, and they'll cook about three three minutes each side. That we okay. cooked our scallops to mid rare, which is perfect. You don't want them overdone. While the scallops sear, the chef moves on to his sambuca tomato sauce. Do a little sauce. A little sauce. A little sauce in the pan. What's happening get the, with the sauce? Get the here. heated the heated saute pan. We infuse our own olive oil with garlic. Oh, nice. So okay. we have roasted garlic olive oil. Flavor's already there. Flavor's already there. Garlic and shallots. Let that brown in the pan. You don't want to burn the garlic, but you definitely want that brown keep, flavor keep to it. Keep that moving, you get that nuttiness off it when it uh, cooks up, especially in that uh, garlic olive oil. The tomatoes go in. The tomatoes go bowl. in, reacts with the, uh, with the oil, the water and the moisture, it makes it flambe like that. And here's something else that will fire up the sauce. Sambuca. Don't want to uh, blow up your hand with this sambuca. When you're putting alcohol in the pan, take it off. Take it away from the flame. All right. Just a little black sambuca. Very good. It's almost nice. like a, a licorice uh, liqueur. Licorice liqueur. So it'll have a nice effect to it. It'll darken your sauce out real well. So we've got that. And then uh, on top of that, we have marinara robusto. All fresh ingredients. It's fresh tomatoes, fresh basil, fresh rosemary, fresh sage. A little bit of green peppers, a little bit of... All coming together. All nice. coming together. All those great flavors. We'll get about give or take seven ounces of pasta. Which you've got the measuring device right there, that's seven ounces that's dead on. That's about seven ounces that dead on. Device? That's, that's, seven that's, ounces? that's 15 years of measuring that's ounces. Right. <laughs> Toss it up. Meanwhile, the scallops are seared perfectly on one side and ready for flipping. That's why you go with the hot part of the grill right hot there. Hot part of the grill. That's what you get when you're going hot. Beautiful. Let this cook for about a minute more on that side. The sauce looks absolutely perfect, right to temperature, and you know what? It's been about another minute. Look at that. They are ready to roll. Take all your pasta and your tongs. Basically what you're doing is you're bird's nesting it. You're, you're heaping it up into one big pile of goodness. Now that we've built the nest, we've got what's going in it, which is those scallops. Those scallops. From here, it's as easy as one, Two, three, and four. I love the hidden, the hiddenness of the linguine underneath the scallop. Yeah. And then we garnish it with a little bit more of our fresh, garden fresh basil, a little bit Parmesan. And there it is. And there it is. Ready to go. Ready to go. Chef, I'm going in. I got to give this a try. Look at that. I'm going to get a big bite of scallop. I mean, look at these babies. These U10s are incredible. The grill on that. Scallop, it comes through. I'm tasting that with those beautiful flavors on the pasta. I mean, they're just well balanced, nothing overtaking anything. That is a winner. What's amazing is that you put just a little bit of the sambuca, so it gives it just a little bit of that licorice flavor, but doesn't overpower it. So you get the sweet going on, a little bit of the heat with the pasta thing happening. Nicely done. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. For more information on the Grey Goose or any other featured restaurants on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, log on to newlocaltv.com. And stay tuned, because up next, we reveal the secrets behind the Grey Goose's biggest claim to fame. Pizza's a staple. That is a staple. I've had the pizza many times. It's some of the best pizza in town. Pizza is awesome. And we're going to show you why next on Secrets of Bluegrass Chef.
Blair with you again with more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, this time in Lexington on Jefferson Street at the Grey Goose. This is one of three Grey Gooses in the Bluegrass. There's also one in Midway and now Paris. All three have a similar look with a friendly and cozy environment. It just has that wonderful neighborhood feel to it. It's great, very great. The Lexington location boasts one of the best patios in town, which is dog friendly, by the way. It's also home to one of Lexington's most passionate chefs, Darren Perosi. I love food. I could cook all day and not care, and be hot, hotter than hell, and not care. As long as I'm still cooking, I'm fine. I'm fine as long as he's cooking too. Burger salads, but seafood too, right chef? Yes sir. There's something for everyone on the Grey Goose menu. A few years we've added, you know, fish and chips. I would go <laughs> with fish and chips, it's really good. We've always had a killer burger. And, you know, there's quite a few salads on the menu. I'm in love with the black bean burger. They have great specials. Great salads, seafood, but pizza is their claim to fame. There you go. They're so popular, this one Grey Goose location makes an average of 100 pizzas a night. We go through a lot of dough, a lot of dough, every single day. Our dough is a very thin crust pizza, uh, New York style pizza dough. The secret to this is lots of cornmeal. And a machine that rolls the dough a lot faster than human hands could get it done. And I like that roller, that saves a lot of work. <laughs> lots of work. It's real simple. It presses it out to a nice thin, Oh, nice. Area. It's a standard recipe made exclusively for the goose by Cisco. Now you can tell all your friends are rolling in the dough. So we've got our crust now. Again, secret cornmeal keeps it from sticking to the oven. The best way to stretch this dough is out of the sides instead of the middle. The middle gets really thin. So you get a nice, very good, kind nice, of even see how texture thin all it the way is. around. Oh, yeah. You can see a uh, transparency to it. We stretch it around the top of the, the paddle just to keep a shape. Get a nice round shape all the way around. You don't want to tuck it around the side. Our sauce is four ingredients. It's basil, tomatoes, salt, and water. Here's another secret. There are no preservatives in the sauce, which keeps the heartburn factor down. It's a lot better for you. Good. It's a lot more natural. So we can eat more. Because you can eat more, much more. <laughs> I like that. Then we have our cheese. Our cheese is 100% whole milk mozzarella. You don't need a whole lot. You just need to put a nice sprinkle of it, about a cup Very of good. cheese on there. All right. That way when it melts, it actually melts just in the cheese. It doesn't have any oil. Other mozzarellas that other places have, uh, they have whole milk solids. So when it melts, it just melts in oil. And it's all oily. Ours is 100% whole milk. And I'll so there is no oil. We're going to do pepperoni today. It's not those little rounds you see on other pizzas, no, right? No, not at all. Look these at the are, these are three inch slices. We do a baker's dozen. We get nice, uh, nice ratio of pepperoni on the pizza. Our secret pizza seasoning. Now we're ready for the oven. Ready for the oven. Excellent. All right. Best thing go. to do here is to wipe off the bottom of your uh, your pizza paddle. That way, there's no cheese, no, nothing stuck to the bottom because it stick to the bottom Good of the dough. Good secret, even at home, when you do that. Put it all the way in. Kind of pull it until the dough attaches itself to the oven, and shake it off onto the onto the pan, onto the stove. All in one move. All in one move. I like that. Into the oven. How long is this going to go? About six, shot. seven minutes. Six, seven minutes, and we're at pretty high temperature too. We're at 550 degrees. Wow. So that's going to cook it. Like you said, take that moisture out of there. It's going to be unbelievable. It'll dehyd dehydrate the crust. It'll keep it crispy. It'll keep it thin. It'll so, come out real nice and, and juicy, not oily. I can do it in my own oven, right? You can do it in your own oven, high temperature. Uh, that keeps, that it'll crisp up the pizza real nice, real quick. You can buy pizza stones for home, right? You can buy pizza stones, you heat them up in your, in your oven, or you can just do it on your grill. So we've got our crispy, thin crust pizza. It's a nice crispness on the bottom. Beautiful. The cheese is all melted. There's not a whole lot of oil on here. It's only from the pepperoni itself. Perfect. I love that tool. That's a mezzaluna. Mezzaluna, yes. It's a rocking knife. And the pizza? It's rocking too. Mind if I try this? No, go for it. Every bite you get some of that pepperoni mm -hmm. that's on there. Mm -hmm. Pepperoni, nice earthiness from the cheese. This is a balanced pizza. You got just enough pepperoni, mm -hmm. just enough cheese, just enough sauce. This is great pizza. Come on out and try it. Oh, you don't have to go to New York for great pizza. That is awesome, Chef. Well done. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. 
A big thanks to Chef Darren and Jeff Wheeler for hosting us at the Grey Goose. It's easy to see why their restaurant is helping make Jefferson Street such a hot spot. Well, that'll do it for this edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Tim Laird, and we'll see you next time.